Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn about time. What do you understand by time? What comes to your mind whenever you hear this word? I'm sure it will be seconds, minutes and hours. But time is not only what we say in seconds, minutes and hours. Time is a period, whether past, present or future. We measure time in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months and years using clocks and calendars. To measure time or to tell the time in seconds, minutes and hours, we use a clock. And to tell the time in days, weeks, months and years, we use a calendar. As you know, we use a clock to tell the time in minutes and hours. The face of a clock or a watch is called the dial. You can see 12 numbers on the dial. The 12 numbers represent the 12 hours of the day. A clock has two hands, one short hand and one long hand. The short hand tells the hours, so it is called the hour hand. The long hand tells the minutes, so it is called the minute hand. Some clocks also have a thin hand which tells the seconds. The hour hand makes one round of the dial in 12 hours. But there are 24 hours in a day. So the hour hand takes two complete rounds in one day. The minute hand makes one round of the dial in one hour. And since there are 24 hours in a day, the minute hand takes 24 complete rounds in one day. Now we'll see how to tell the time using a clock. We know that a clock has two hands, a short hand or the hour hand and a long hand or the minute hand. When the minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand is at 3, then the time is 3 o'clock, which is written as 3 and 2 dots in figures. Then, when the minute hand moves to 3, it means that 15 minutes have passed after 3 o'clock. This time is written as quarter past 3 or 3.15 in figures. Over here, you must note that as the minute hand moved from 12 to 3, the hour hand has also shifted a little away from 3 towards 4. After 3.15 or quarter past 3, when the minute hand moves from 3 to 6, it means that 30 minutes have passed after 3 o'clock, which is written as half past 3 or 3.30 in figures. At this time, the hour hand is exactly in between 3 and 4. After 3.30 or half past 3, when the minute hand moves from 6 to 9, the time is 45 minutes past 3, which is written as 3.45 in figures. By this time, the hour hand has moved closer to 4. 45 minutes past 3 or 3.45 also means that only 15 minutes are left till 4 o'clock. That is 15 minutes to 4. So 45 minutes past 3 is usually written as 15 minutes to 4 or quarter to 4. But in figures it remains as 3.45. After 3.45 or quarter to 4, when the minute hand reaches 12 once more, the hour hand is now at 4 and the time is 4 o'clock. Moving ahead with the topic, we'll now learn the concept of AM and PM. We know that a day has 24 hours, but only 12 hours are shown on the dial or the face of the clock. Hence, the day is divided into two halves of 12 hours each. The first half begins from 12 o'clock at night, that is midnight, to 12 o'clock at noon. And these 12 hours are called the morning hours. 
The second half begins from 12 o'clock at noon to 12 o'clock at night. These 12 hours are called the afternoon or the evening hours. The morning hours from midnight to 12 noon are written as AM and the evening hours from 12 noon to midnight are written as PM. This means that a new day begins at midnight and the same time is shown twice in a day. First, before noon as AM and then after noon as PM. To understand the concept of AM and PM better, let's take the example of 1st January. The first day of a new year begins at 12 midnight. One hour after 12 midnight, the time is 1 AM. After another one hour, it becomes 2 AM. Then 3 AM, 4 AM, 5 AM, 6 AM, 7 AM, 8 AM, 9 AM, 10 AM, 11 AM and then it is 12 o'clock once again but now it is 12 noon. One hour after 12 noon it becomes 1 o'clock once again but this time it is 1 PM followed by 2 PM, 3 PM, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m. And then when it becomes 12 midnight, a new day begins and the date changes to 2nd January. A quick recapitulation before we end. Time is a period, whether past, present or future. We use a clock to tell the time in seconds, minutes and hours. We use a calendar to tell the time in days, weeks, months and years. A day is divided into two halves of 12 hours each. 12 hours before noon and 12 hours after noon. The time before noon is written as AM. The time after noon is written as PM. A new day begins at 12, 12 midnight. Mm -hmm.